Deb Martin. I'm a private Augie in the 15th Mass Volunteer Infantry. I'm actually an employee at Look Park. And uh, next weekend, August 11th and 12th, we'll be hosting a Civil War battle reenactment for, for the weekend. And I'm Steve Rapp. I'm, uh, I'm in the 15th Massachusetts Volunteer Infantry. I'm a corporal. And I've been helping to get all of this put together and, and uh, functioning so that next weekend everybody kind of knows what they're doing. Um, it's going to be over 200 reenactors kind of descending on the park and taking over. Uh, when you come to the park, we hope you're going to get a good interpretation of what it was like to be in 1862. Uh, there'll be a Confederate camp with obviously all of the Confederate soldiers there, including artillery. Uh, there'll be a Union camp with all of the federal troops there, including artillery, and they're even going to have the 32nd Mass Hospital Unit, which would be the Civil War, Civil War equivalent of a MASH unit, from, like the TV show MASH. Um, so there'll be surgical displays going on. We're going to have uh, engineers there that will show you all of the weapons of mass destruction that were used during the period. Um, and we're also going to have the Unity Camp, and the Unity Camp is the civilian contingent of reenactors. And, and uh, during the war, the wives and daughters of the soldiers would follow the regiments uh, along their battle routes, and they would pretty much take care of their loved ones by doing their cleaning, their clothes cleaning and, and uh, cooking and whatnot. Uh, but we'll have a good interpretation of the civilian people at the time, including there's going to be a fashion show where people will be able to come in and see the, uh, as Augie likes to call them, the hoop skirt wearing mm -hmm. reactors. Uh, so uh, we're, we hope to do a really good uh, depiction of what it was like to be in 1862. A longtime citizen of Northampton, Russ Mayette, um, he was very instrumental. You probably don't remember the Christmas tree on the water. Well, they still have it. But Russ Mayette was very instrumental about getting that. It was a fundraiser that, that they, they did for the city of Northampton. Um, and he was very instrumental in getting the 9th Mass Artillery up and running, and very instrumental in getting the 10th Mass Infantry up and running. So, And he's passed away recently. And so we're going to do a memoriam for him at the dress parade uh, to honor uh, who, his memory and, and his service to the reenactment community. Uh, and then at, uh, that's at 10 o'clock. And then at 11 o'clock, we're going to do um, the battle at Pines Theater, um, where, why don't you tell them about that one? Because that was kind of your brainchild, you and the captain. The, um, the Union troops will take over the train over at the Petal Belt area. Right. And the train will bring the troops around the park and let they'll all get off in front of the Pines Theater where they'll fight and try to defend that the, the Pine Theater as if it was uh, a home. As it, it kind of looks like a Civil War period home. Um, there'll be sharpshooters placed up in the tower in the theater and um, this, is, this is where everyone, all the, everyone that can see in the, the park what's going on. Um, and then from that we go to the, this is really cool, this is an interaction type of thing. Um, it's called the, um, the Littlest Battalion and what we're going to do is we're going to enlist uh, kids that come to the park both Saturday and if they come back Sunday, into uh, what we call the Littlest Battalion. Anybody between the ages of 6 and 12 can participate. Uh, they're going to get a formal muster sheet when they enlist, and they're also going to get a kepi. Now, a kepi was the little Civil War hat, so we're going to make sure that they each get a kepi, and they'll participate in the schooling of the soldiers, so they'll learn how the soldiers actually marched and how they went into battle, and how when they went into battle, they were actually elbow to elbow. And so they were, they were very, very close in, in, in when they went into fight. So we're going to teach them how to do that, and that should be, that should be a whole bunch of fun. Uh, and then that will be followed by the big uh, recreation of the Battle of the Seven Pines. When the people come on Saturday morning, um, we'll have as much of the 1862 in place as we possibly can. So we're, hoping, we're hoping that a lot of people do come out, and a lot of people have a good time. Uh, a lot of the history buffs come out and see what it was like to walk in the Brogans, of a Civil War soldier. Brogan is the one shoe type uh, shoe that they used to wear back then. Um, so yeah, we're, we're hoping that a lot of people come out and enjoy this. It, we, come, we come Friday and we live like it's the 1860s up until Sunday night when we go home.